See it in all of its glory? The most beautiful turkey club. Single layer edition, not a triple threat, just a double stacker. You know what I mean. Let's eat it. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what's up and what is good with y'all? A basic lunch style meal. We got the leaning tower of turkey club. Single layer, single deck. We don't need that third piece of bread, especially when we got this nice kind of thicker crusty stuff. I had some tomatoes that were at the turn of the century. And by that, I mean, I bought tomatoes and they were just sitting in my fridge, just waiting and waiting. They're getting almost squishy. And I'm like, I got to deal with those. So here we are. We're dealing with those in the form of a beautiful turkey club. And then I've got this uh, homemade broccoli cheddar, broccoli flour, broccoli cauliflower cheddar that uh, I made on a shorts the other day. You can check that out. It's a simple recipe and uh, I'm using it as the days go by. Okay. So before we do anything more, <laughs> we must pour. And this is a rarity. And that is a Diet Coke, something I never really get into, but they were left behind at my headquarters by none other than my mother. So she blessed me with a few DCs that she didn't want to bring back home uh, because I treated her to a movie night, okay? <laughs> um, but then she treated me to Pizza Hut. So it was a mutual exchange. We had a, a, a mother-son Pizza Hut party fiesta pizza night movie night. And uh, maybe I'll elaborate on, on that a little bit. And I don't even know what I'm going to talk about today. We're flowing off the cuff. Maybe some just general life updates. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, we remember this from times of the past where Diet Pop always takes so much longer to pour because it fizzes into the next dimension and realm of oblivion. You know what I mean? Anyhow, to all my DC lovers out there, I'm sorry. I don't get it. This is perhaps the most subpar diet pop I, I've ever drank in my life. A, a, a diet Pepsi is just leaps and bounds and leagues ahead. But anyways, let's move this soup off to the side for a sec. Get a nice little look, get the sando, and deconstruct a bit here and knock it down to what it's truthfully supposed to be. Okay, we move that out of the way. We need to make our eating room. This is the, the Guy Fieri zone. <laughs> you know how Guy hunches down and crunches down and gets that burger bite? Well, that's what we're doing for this sando. Okay, let's go. Beautiful. Super good. Mm. <laughs> wow casting couch right there <laughs> everything's balancing perfect turkey got it sliced razor thin uh, shaved at the deli he likes it shaved <laughs> waxed preferably <laughs> kidding kid. no not kidding Speaking of which, I was watching this TikTok of this woman who was naive to the fact that her apples were covered in uh, in wax for that shine, but also as a method of preservation for shipping and things like that. 
and she was peeling it off with a exacto knife. And was mind blown by how much she could pull off the apple. And uh, I thought that was pretty common knowledge, but yes, a lot of our produce is covered in perhaps not the most uh, greatest, for lack of a better term, stuff that you would want to ingest. Maybe. Lots of sprays and chemicals, things like that, but I don't know. I've eaten like an insane person and I'm still here. So who knows? The rhyme or reason to life. Just enjoy it while you got it maybe. And don't worry about the wax. <laughs> Alright, little cleanser of the worst diet soda ever. Yes, I use soda and pop interchangeably. But an extra cheese. I definitely extra cheese this. Look at that. An extra cheese with sesame sticks. Sesame bread sticks. Caught these at the dollar store. <laughs> with the intent to blitz them off and make a sesame stick crusted fried chicken or chicken fingers. But you always need something crispy crunchy in your cheese soup. So I figured I'd sacrifice a few <laughs> for this Vidsky. Mm. Wow, yeah. <laughs> That's so good with that extra cheese. Also, I mean, I make a mean homemade broccoli soup for real. So balanced. Sodium. So perfectly on point. Mm. Yeah. I'm telling you, check that shorts out. The recipe's legit. So easy too. Hardest part is, and that's not even the hardest, it's not hard, it's just chunking up the broccoli and uh, collie, throwing it in the uh, processor, and then just having to rinse out and clean the processor is kind of the most annoying part, but other than that, very hassle-free. Better than your Campbell's type soup. And you yield so much. Throw half of it in the freezer. Pull it out on a day that you're feeling like you want some zoop. And you're good to go. All right, yeah, these are these, these sticks. I actually love them to snack on too. They're like a buck fifty for a box of them, so very economical and uh, good for shit like this. But also, I drag them through. I, I treat them almost like a like a handy snack, like a grown up handy snack. I just drag it through cheese whiz, <laughs> or drag it through peanut butter, or drag it through peanut butter and cheese whiz. <laughs> But yeah, speaking of my madre, A, she's swinging by in the next hour to get some of the soup because I made so much. I got like, I think it was like three, three liters. So I can't eat it all. So hooking up moms with some soup, but uh, I 
you know, we had our, our little, uh, pizza party and movies, and <laughs> she really was on one with some, like, feminist fuck men style movies. So we watched the movie She Said, which is, like, about journalists essentially exposing the Harvey Weinstein type stuff. So, like, the Me Too movement movie, basically. She enjoyed that one quite a bit. And uh, to accentuate... We called in the hut, Pizza Hut. Because my mom hasn't had Pizza Hut, and she said it was something like five years. But she remembers loving it. And I was like, well, maybe you get it from me. You guys know I'm a Pizza Hut fiend, right? All right. So we got a, the deal of the two my boxes, nineteen ninety nine. Each get your own individual box, your own individual pie with three toppings, five wings on the side, boneless. I got extra cheese, double pepperoni. But here's where I'm pissed, and this is what they keep doing. I don't know why Pizza Hut's been doing it lately, but they keep putting the pepperoni under the cheese, and that's such a faux, faux pas, like that's such a no-no for pizza, like the reason why a pep and cheese is so good is because the pep sits on top and gets the crispy cups, and you get the crispy edges, and you get the burnt, and like all that. That's what makes a pep and cheese. So I don't know why the hut got to be playing games with my heart like that. It's killing me. So next time I may have to specify in the special instructions hit those pep cups on top oh the cheese you know anyway how way how anyway how we smashed that movie and then she was down for a double header, so I threw on another one with Anna Kendrick called Alice Darling that she wanted to watch. Which was a movie about a woman in a abusive, emotionally controlling relationship that she needed to escape from, essentially. My mom is deep into those type of movies. She's into the dramas. Drama mama. I also like a good drama because anything that mirrors real life is a good watch for me because I like when things feel relatable, I guess, or stories feel relatable. So I don't mind a good dra drama. 
I'm a dialogue junkie, as you can tell. He can't shut up. He won't shut up. <laughs> Unless there's tomato hanging over his mouth. Well, the tomato got obnoxious, so we're left with a lettuce turkey now. But yeah, so hit that, and then she was almost down for a triple header. And I started the movie Cocaine Bear, which is what I wanted to watch. And... She was like, this is terrible, I'm, not, I'm out of here. And she left within 20 minutes of starting Cocaine Bear. And to be honest, I shot up Cocaine Bear after that too, because it was honestly that bad. I had high hopes for Cocaine Bear. I might skim through it and give it a, a re-go. A re but... Off the top, it was over the top, and just real silly, and CGI bear too, which kind of just ruined everything about it. Especially considering they made the movie The Edge with Bart the Bear back in the 90s. And that real bear performed, like, incredible real stunts. Probably a Russian bear. And then now they have a bear-centered movie called Cocaine Bear, and now there's a CGI? Like, not really. No thanks. Not for me. Bring back Bart, you know? Even though he's dead, I'm sure. But he must have some living lineage still in the actor's circle of Hollywood, Holly Weird. I don't know. But all I'm saying is Cocaine Bear, Bear was just goofy. Okay. All right, well. Chatty Cathy, Ronnie the Rambler, if you will. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but this was delicious. Real, real nice. This, though, straight 2 out of 10. I don't see, I've never seen the hype behind a Diet Coke. Just never made sense to me. All right, well, I enjoyed this one. Perhaps you did, too. Till the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.